In section D, you are asked to calculate the capital profit or loss um, realized by Bank VW when this NCD trades on 20 April 2012. Now, remember, Bank VW um, bought it when this instrument was issued. In other words, they bought it for 5 million and at an interest rate of 13%. Um, they held it for 50 days and then they sold it on the 20th of April 2012. Now it's actually rather easy to calculate um, or to determine whether a capital profit or a capital loss was made. All we have to do is we have to look at the interest rate. Um, in the primary market, it was sold at an interest rate of 13%, and in the secondary market, it was sold at an interest rate of 11%. In other words, we know that the interest rate went down from when it was first bought in the primary market. Now, you will remember that there's an inverse relationship between interest rate and the price of a financial instrument. So therefore, when the interest rates on a financial instrument went down, it means that the price went up. And that implies a capital profit. Right, so it's easy to determine whether a capital profit or loss was made, but it's not so easy to calculate it, and that is what we're going to do now. Now, Total income, which we calculated in question C, actually consists of two parts. It consists of capital profit, or sometimes a loss, and it consists of accrued interest. So to calculate your capital profit or loss, all you have to do is take your total income and subtract accrued interest. If total income is larger than accrued interest, then you will know that a capital profit was realized. But when the total income is less than the accrued interest, then it implies a capital loss. Right, so in order to calculate the capital profit or loss, we know what the total income is, but we first have to calculate accrued interest. Now we're going to use this formula to calculate accrued interest. Accrued interest is equal to the amount paid times the interest rate times the portion of the year that it belongs to the seller. So if we rewrite that formula, accrued interest is equal to the amount paid. Now this is the amount that was paid by bank VW when it was bought in the primary market times the interest rate. And in this case, it's going to be the interest rate at which bank VW bought the instrument. In other words, the interest rate at which it traded in the primary market times the portion of the year that it belonged to bank VW. And it belonged to bank VW for 50 days. So it's going to be 50 divided by 365. So if we can replace that, the amount paid was of course 5 million times the interest rate, which is 13% or 0, 0,13 times the portion of the year that it belonged to the seller, 50 divided by 365. So you're going to have to use a calculator to do this calculation. 5 million times 
0, 0,13 times 50 divided by 365 and that gives you 89,041 rand and 9 cent or if we round that we get 89,041 rand. Right, so now we know what the accrued interest is. To calculate the capital profit or loss, we know that it's a capital profit. How do we know it? Because interest rates went down. We can also see that the accrued interest is less than the total income of 99,051 rand. So, the capital profit is equal to the total income, 99,051 rand, minus the accrued interest that we calculated, 89,041 rand. So that is going to give you a capital profit of 10 million, oh, 10,010 rand. So that is the capital profit realized by, by Bank VW for holding this instrument for 50 days.